For the Maeva style, hold the top two ends of the pareo behind your back in the horizontal position. Wrap the upper two ends in front of you. Cross and twist the two ends, cinching them comfortably against the body and tie them behind your neck. For the Nukuhiva style, hold the top two ends of the pareo in the horizontal position behind your back. Wrap the two ends in front of you, holding one side over the other across the chest. Twist the two ends a little and then tie them behind your neck with a double overhand knot. For the Morea style, hold the top two ends of the pareo in a horizontal position behind your back. Wrap the two ends in front of you, folding one side over the other across the chest while twisting the ends three or four times into a coil. Tie the twisted ends behind your neck. Move the flap in front to the side and let it drape freely. For the Makimo style, hold the top two ends of the pareo in front of you in the vertical position. Wrap one end under your arm and behind you at bust level. Bring it together with the other end on the opposite side. Twist the top ends once and tie them into a knot just under your arm. Next, grab the edges of the pareo on each side a little below waist level. Raise and fold the edges of the pareo, lifting it about six inches to the waist. Gather the two edges of the fold at your hip on the same side the upper part of the pareo is tied around your bust and tie the ends into a knot or use a pareo buckle to fasten them. Adjust the bottom end as needed. For the huahine style, hold the top ends of the pareo in front of you in the vertical position. Wrap the top two ends around the back of your neck and tie them. Grab the edges of the pareo below waist level Raise it a couple of inches to hip level and wrap it behind you, moving one edge all the way around to the opposite hip. Tie the two edges in a knot at the hip and adjust the top portion of the pareo. For the tahaa style, hold the top ends of the pareo behind your back in the horizontal position. Wrap the two ends around the front. Move your grip about a foot towards your chest along the edge of the pareo. Twist once and tie the two parts together in a double overhand knot until they are snug against the bust. Now reach down to the two ends that are hanging in front of you, bring them to the front, fold them once or twice into a pleat and tuck the top of the pleat into the top of the pareo at bust level. Straighten the pleat against the front of your body. For the takaro style, hold the top two ends of the pareo behind your back in the horizontal position. Wrap one end all the way around and drape it over the opposite shoulder. Holding that end with one hand, wrap the other end across the bust behind your back and bring it together with the end over the shoulder. Tie the two ends into a knot at the shoulder. For the Rayatia style, hold the top ends of the pareo across your back in the horizontal position. Take one end and place on top of shoulder behind arms and bring the other end to meet end of top of the shoulder. Tie on top of the same shoulder. For the Tubuai style, hold the top two ends of the pareo behind your back in the horizontal position. Wrap one end across the bust, finishing up under the opposite arm. Cinch up about two feet on the other end, twist once or twice, and tie that to the first end above the bust. Grab the hanging end and drape over your shoulder on the same side so it hangs freely down the back. For the Tetiaro style, hold the top ends of the pareo across your back in the horizontal position. Wrap one end across the bust and hold it under the opposite armpit. Wrap the other end around the opposite shoulder, join it with the first end and tie them together at the shoulder.
For the maire style, hold the top two ends of the pareo behind your back in the horizontal position. Wrap one end around your bust to the opposite shoulder and let the excess drape down your back. Bring the other end around your bust and continue wrapping it around your back. Tie that end of the other end hanging over the opposite shoulder. For the heirani style, hold the top two ends of the pareo across your back in the horizontal position. Wrap the two ends all the way in front of you. Tie a double overhand knot at the ends. Loop that knot behind your neck. Grasp the front sides of the pareo about waist level and tuck each side across your body in the opposite side. Fluff and front out. Mareva style. For the Mareva style, hold the top two ends of the pareo in front of you in vertical position. Wrap the top two ends behind your neck and tie them in a knot. With the front draping nicely, grasp each side of the pareo a little below waist level and lift the sides to create a fold. Wrap the fold against the front of your body at waist level to the back. Holding those ends together behind you, twist the pareo at waist level so the ends meet above either hip. Tie the ends into a knot above that hip or use a pareo buckle to secure them and blouse out the top to adjust the draping. For the moirani style, hold the top two ends of the pareo in back of you in the horizontal position, but leave it about two thirds longer on each side. Wrap the shorter end around your bust until it meets the top edge of the longer side under your arm. Twist out a coil from the longer side at that point and tie it to the short end at the side of your bust. Now lift the hanging end above your head, fold the excess towards you and inside, and drape that end over your shoulder. You may either leave it hanging freely or you can tuck it into the back if you wish. For the Orama style, Hold the top two ends of the pareo behind your back in the horizontal position. Bring the top ends in front of you, tie a single overhand knot, adjust and fit under your arms and pull the two ends until the knot is cinched comfortably in the middle of your bust. Then tie the second overhand knot to secure the pareo and fluff out the ends so they drape nicely. Now let's focus on how men can look handsome yet masculine in a Polynesian pareo. Polynesian men have known for centuries that the multifunctional pareo is one of the best ways to stay cool and comfortable on a warm tropical island, the beach, or the privacy of your own home. For the Are Nui style, hold the top ends of the pareo behind your back at waist level in the horizontal position. Fold both ends in front of you at the waist, folding one side under the other until each end reaches the opposite hip. Give one end a little twist or small fold for extra bulk. Then holding it near the top edge, roll the top of the pareo over that end until it's cinched. Hike up the pareo on that side if needed. We'll use this basic tying method again for other styles as well. Now pull the loose top end until it's snug. Place it against the top edge and roll the pareo over that end as well. By the way men, it's not unnatural to have to adjust your tying style occasionally, similar to the way you sometimes have to pull up your pants. And oh yes, many men nowadays wear undershorts beneath the pareo. For the hero style, Hold the top ends of the pareo behind your back just above the waist level in the horizontal position. Take one end and place against the side of your waist. Take the other end and wrap to the opposite waist and tuck in at the waist. For the Moana style, hold the top ends of the pareo in back of your waist in the horizontal position. Wrap both ends in front of you at the waist, folding one side under the other until each end reaches the opposite hip. Give one end a little twist or small fold for extra bulk. 
Then holding it near the top edge, roll the top of the pareo over that end until it's cinched. Hike up the pareo on that side if needed. Now pull the loose top end until it's snug. Place it against the top edge and roll the pareo over that end as well. So far this is the Aranui style. Now spread your feet and hike up one side of the pareo to at least mid thigh. Lean forward, grab the bottom end of the side that's hiked up and twist it into a rope. Pass this rope under your legs and up the back thong style. Cinch until comfortable and then tuck the end into the back of the pareo. The tane style is somewhat different. Hold the top ends of the pareo in front of you at waist level, but this time in the vertical position. Tie the top two ends behind your waist. Spread your legs and lean over. Gather the pareo at the sides, passing it under the legs and up the back. Then grab the two ends that are now behind your back and wrap them around each side of the waist. Cinch the ends until the pareo is comfortable and tuck them into the top. If you're thin-waisted, the two ends might actually cross over, which is okay. For the teva style, hold the top ends of the pareo in back of your waist in the horizontal position. Wrap both ends in front of you at the waist, holding one side under the other until that end reaches the opposite hip. Give the end a little twist or small fold for extra bulk. Then holding it near the top edge, roll the top of the pareo over until it's cinched. Hike up the pareo on that side if needed. Now holding the unsecured end, fold it over vertically about two or three inches. Now fold it back on itself, again about two or three inches. And repeat this alternate folding until you have a pleat even with your navel. That's right, this is the pleated pareo look. Finally tuck the top of the pleat inside the pareo in front of the waist. Sebo. Part of the beauty of pareos in the islands is their pure functionality. Brightly coloured with strong decorative motifs, locally produced and used by all Polynesian families, the pareo is the single most evident form of modern folk art in Polynesia. The pareo is a symbol of the islands and will quickly become one of the most comfortable items in your wardrobe.